Joining you now, a member of the House Oversight Committee, Congressman Rokana of California, who was uh, questioning Michael Cohen earlier this week. Congressman, um, I want to talk about the specifics, but first, I guess the question is, are we closer to the truth? Do you feel after the hearing and with the agenda before your committee now that we are getting closer to the truth? I think we are. We know that there was a criminal conspiracy between the president, his son, Weisselberg, and Cohen for financial fraud, and that the Southern District of New York is investigating this ongoing uh, conspiracy. Uh, So uh, that uh, is closer to the truth. We need more people to come before the committee and testify to continue to corroborate it. Um, I want to play you something that Rudy Giuliani said about the reimbursement payments. Of course, this is something they have lied about over and over. The president lied to everyone on Air Force One when he was asked about it, lied about it subsequently. Uh, And this is the this is Giuliani today, today, what he had to say. Take a listen. We brought out 10 months ago uh, that he made the payments. It's our, it's our view of it that the president didn't know about it at the time. And then the president, when he found out about it, made arrangements for reimbursement. There is literally tape of him talking to Michael Cohn about it at the time. Well, what is your response when they try to sort of gaslight us all this way? Well, obviously they're lying, but it's more serious than that they're, they're lying. The president didn't just pay Michael Cohen through his personal check. He set up an elaborate trust through his financial organization, the Trump Organization, and they cooked the books in the Trump right. Organization to reimburse Cohen. And, and, they're, and Cohen brought in the checks. Here's the thing. Every time they attack Cohen's credibility, you don't have to believe a word Cohen says. He has smoking gun evidence. Just look at the evidence. Cohen corroborated everything he alleged with evidence. And the evidence was that the president, his son, and Weisselberg elaborated a whole scheme to commit financial fraud. Your committee uh, has announced, your, uh, the chair, Elijah Cummings, uh, it already was looking into the security clearance issue, which has been an issue above and beyond just Jared Kushner. Um, the chair wrote another letter today in the wake of the uh, Kushner revelations in New York Times. Explain why this is an important issue for oversight and isn't just something that the president can grant or not grant as he pleases. Well, here's, here's why it matters. The president has had a systematic assault on expertise and civil servants in our democracy. Look, I know Jared Kushner. We worked at the White House Office of Innovation to pass a bill on the IDEA Act. And this isn't a partisan issue. But who puts Jared Kushner in charge of Middle East peace? And when you give him a top secret clearance and you know that he's on WhatsApp with MBS in Saudi Arabia and that this may be affecting things like the war in Yemen, there are real concerns. So this isn't some partisan issue. This is saying that the president has disregarded foreign policy advice. He's put his son-in-law in charge of the Middle East peace process. And the son-in-law is getting sensitive information that he may, may be sharing with MBS and who knows else around the world. Um, there's reporting today from NBC uh, that the House Democrats are preparing a case to request the president's tax returns. Uh, that would be the Ways and Means Committee. That, that's the one that has jurisdiction. But it's been coordinated right. with chairs of other committees. Is that something you would support? Absolutely. And let's remember why we have this authority. It goes back uh, to the 1920s, the Teapot Dome scandal, Hmm. uh, when there was corruption and bribery. And then Congress said, well, we can't just rely on the president to tell us that if there's corruption, we got to get the tax returns. And so there's precedent for this, uh, and we should absolutely get the tax returns. All right. Congressman Rokana on the Oversight Committee. Thank you so much.